I need you, babe. I need you as a partner and, and co-parent. I mean, isn't that what we're doing? Isn't that what we fought so hard for? American actress Connie Britton is best known for starring in roles in TV series like Nashville, Friday Night Lights, and White Lotus. But this veteran performer has been a part of the industry for a lot longer than that. In fact, she's been working in Hollywood since the mid 90s, which just so happens to be right around the same time she bought herself her very first home in the Hollywood Hills. Way back when, in 2001, Connie secured herself a carefully restored and lightly updated 1930s Spanish style home located above LA's Beachwood Canyon for just $765,000. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. This 2,600 square foot vintage charmer had been tastefully maintained over its long existence and boasts three bedrooms and three and a half baths, not to mention gorgeous canyon and city views. Loaded up with vibrant tile accent stairways, both inside and out, along with a number of French doors that open to a handful of terraces, other standout details of this family home include its hand stenciled wooden beams that highlight its show stopping living room. This space is further anchored by a central fireplace. Listing details suggest that a once epic sized dining room has now been converted into a cozy looking den with a patterned carpet on the floor, a giant circular mirror on the wall, and a family sized couch to unwind on. Then there's the bold breakfast nook that flows into the roomy, well maintained kitchen. Here, there's lemon colored ceramic countertops mixed with minty green inlays. Heading upstairs, you'll discover two sun drenched bedrooms, both of which boast an ensuite bath. There's even a third bedroom back down on the lower level that includes a private terrace and an outside entrance of its own, making it ideal as either a home office or a guest room. Out back, there's a relaxing ceramic tiled patio space that's highlighted by some plush seating and an aqua green water fountain. After living in this charming property for close to 20 years, Connie would finally list it in October 2020 for $1.95 million, a major step up from what she spent on it two decades earlier. And guess what? She wound up getting more than she bargained for when the eventual buyer came in hot with a $2.2 million offer. As for where Connie headed to next, well, she wouldn't have far to go. Just a short trip across town to the LA community of Los Feliz. About three years prior to putting her longtime home in the Hollywood Hills on the market, Connie Britton bought herself a new residence in the popular neighborhood of Los Feliz for $3.1 million. Built by renowned architect Paul Revere Williams, this 1920s Mediterranean villa boasts a tile roof and plenty of attention grabbing vines in what's actually a very private property set behind a low wall and high hedges. According to listing information, this 4,100 square foot house stretches across three floors and boasts four bedrooms alongside three and a half baths. Better yet, the home is said to maintain a number of its original features, including a checkerboard patterned floor that runs throughout the front foyer. The inviting living room boasts hardwood floors, a stunning fireplace, and a major added bonus in its adjoining sunroom. There's even a second fireplace that can be found in the oversized dining room, which is only a short walk away from the nearby chef's kitchen. This space opens up to a breakfast room that comes complete with a view of the Griffith Park Observatory. Upstairs, the villa includes two guest bedrooms, each of which comes with a private balcony of its own, and then there's the main suite, which boasts a third fireplace, its own screening room, a large walk-in closet, and of course, a giant-sized master bath. As for the bottom floor of the property, well, it's not actually accessible from inside the house. Instead, you have to go around to a side entrance that takes you downstairs to a wine cellar and a private guest bedroom with an ensuite bathroom of its very own. Last but not least, the exterior of Connie's new digs include a massive backyard that's highlighted by a kind of unusual looking black painted swimming pool. It's widely believed that Connie now spends the vast majority of her time at this new property, especially after having moved off of her former home elsewhere in LA. But that isn't to say that this established actress is without options. She's got two more homes to choose from, which we're gonna take a quick look at before wrapping things up one last surprise. 
Having once starred in the incredibly popular TV show Friday Night Lights, when that show ended, Connie Britton was having trouble saying goodbye to the state of Texas, where she filmed so much of it. So, rather than leave her memories behind once and for all, she decided to buy herself a small property located in the city of Austin. Connie's Texas home is located in the neighborhood of Travis Heights, and she dropped nearly $600,000 on it in 2010. But unfortunately, that's just about all we know. There isn't much information out there about the property, and Connie's done an excellent job keeping its exact location under wraps. When she's not visiting Texas to remind herself of the good old days, Connie can also hop on a plane and fly to New York City, where tax records show she's owned a co-op apartment in a downtown Manhattan building for a number of years. We've never been offered a glimpse of this residence, but when stopping by the Big Apple for a visit, Connie can knock on the doors of her nearby and equally famous neighbors, including Richard Gere, Megan Ellison, as well as OG supermodel Christy Turlington. But what's most surprising of all about Connie's host of properties is that she doesn't own any real estate in the state of Nashville. After all, outside of Friday Night Lights, that's probably the single most popular project she's ever been a part of. And that was like my favorite show. But since that's the case, why don't we take a look at her luxury home from that show next? After all, the real life location just recently hit the market a couple of years ago, and it's a sight to behold. If you've ever dreamed of living like country music royalty, then I've got good news for you. You can snag this one of a kind six acre estate that once doubled as the home of Connie Britton's Nashville character, Raina James, situated in the city's Belle Mead neighborhood. You know, as long as you have $16 million laying around, that is. This European inspired property boasts 20,533 square feet of space in the interior of the main house where there's six beds, eight baths, and three powder rooms. The home boasts a number of rare artifacts that have been strategically placed to provide optimum glam, including a stunning mantelpiece set into the living room that was once part of a former Versace property. If that's not enough, then how about the estate's amazing stone entryway, a space that includes a stunning floating spiral staircase? When it comes to the kitchen, it's both large and shiny enough that it wouldn't seem out of place on any of TV's most popular cooking shows. Then there's a massive dining room that has enough space in here to serve over 50 guests. Downstairs, you'll find a totally furnished basement with a 3,000 bottle wine cellar and nearby is a billiards room next to the home theater. There's reportedly even a castle shaped playhouse for the kids to play with. Out back, there's a yard that not only boasts its very own pond, but a two stall barn and a swimming pool area complete with its own cabana and fireplace. It's a perfect area to hang out with a few invited guests. And if you're planning on throwing a massive get together, have no fear because there's enough parking for over 300 cars spread across the property. While you all figure out if you can save up enough pennies to afford this place one day, I am gonna bring this house tour to a close. But before we head our separate ways, answer me this question. Would you rather live in a massive estate in the heart of Nashville, Tennessee, or in a much smaller single family home in Los Angeles, California? Let me know your reasons for why in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I will see you all in another video. Bye.